afternoon guys and welcome back to Arbaleus on this absolutely delightful April afternoon. I've come up to do a walk around now of an exclusive new listing, the wonderful Villa Welcome, love the name. Now this is located within the desirable Los Carrascos community of Arbaleus, so very close to the main town and is a very spacious, it's 185 meters, four bed, two bath villa. Could be five, I'll explain that as we go around. And it's within 970 meters of garden, which as you'll see as we pop around has been kind of presented at the moment to be very low maintenance. Now at the back, with gate access from the back garden, you can see there, it's got lots of pressed concrete all the way around it. And you've got two kind of hidden away nice storage sheds. So this is effectively the utility corridor. You can see all the AC units because there's all top spec AC fitted throughout. Coming down. Very easy, good tarmac access. And brings you into this double gate into another large pressed concrete area ample for two vehicles off street parking and the owners have had all the kind of exterior walls as you can see in the back garden as well done with this lovely stone cladding so no worries about paint peeling off all the base of your walls ample size off street parking area you could get a vehicle you can get a motor home um, now running along the whole frontage triple arched well actually quite there's four because there's another one at the end beautiful glazed conservatory come winter room such versatile spaces these we'll see that from the inside in a second now this is where you've got the option for the fifth bedroom this is a very good sized block built building with two access gates it's currently split into two separate very large rooms a workshop and a storage room i'll give you a quick peek from those on the inside but that could very easily be converted to provide additional guest accommodation with a lovely guest cottage all left as it is of course and that privacy wall there with entrance gate leads into the back garden where you've got the glorious 10 by 5 pool and just look at that backdrop you can see what's waiting before we go around there take a look behind this there's another large kind of wood store storage area utility as well so following this along I'll give you a quick peek inside these rooms as well just so you can get an idea of size one second so the first one a very good sized workshop there's electric already installed out here and it will be very easy to add water but this is if this is all stripped out this is easily big enough for a good sized double room or perhaps a little bed sitting room or kitchenette as you'll see in a second but there's a lot of demand at the moment for having kind of workshops and stuff so it can be left equally as it is and then immediately next door another very very big room as you can see this is this is partition walling here so this could be all opened up and make the most amazing kind of studio apartment with a bed with a sitting room with a bathroom or a kitchenette as well quite easily so now let's wander around into the back garden in total the land area as i say just under a thousand meters 970 i think but again don't be phased by that because it's been designed and laid out and presented really with low maintenance in mind because so much of the garden, you know, there are planted beds and there's lovely shrubs established and stuff like that, but it's kind of predominantly laid out now to press concrete. What I'll do is I'll try to show you this back garden from all aspects. So this is just the first one. So I've come through that little gate there, past the huge kind of conservatory winter room. That's the kind of independent casita. You can see it's just a, a very expansive, concrete on concrete terrace so more access into the conservatory from that end and then there's a real additional bonus and a nice surprise because most of the villas that come onto the market have and or um, but this one as well as the huge glazed in winter room you've got this beautiful arch fronted fly screened enclosure 
which as you can see from here looks out over the 10 by 5 swimming pool now again you know a nice benefit this has all been security fenced so perfectly kid and pet friendly and there's a couple of gate access points into this I'm just looking at it from the other side where I entered the garden got this beautiful now that the Sun rises immediately to my right and forms a perfect arc over the property setting to my left and just look at that amazing backdrop now as I mentioned it's in Los Carrascos um, theoretically you're within easy walking distance of two popular bar restaurant and just a three minute drive from the center but I'm sure most of you have heard now on social media and Facebook the nearest bar the place to be which is not not more than a minute's walk away um, literally closed its doors over the this weekend very sadly but there's already people being shown around so I can't see it being very long before the lease to that is picked up because it's an absolutely focal point to the community and a real gold mine essentially so it's not going to be long before that opens again so it popped over right to the other side of the garden now and you can see the privacy wall also on this side which shows the two little sheds behind that that I featured right at the beginning and a lovely scan round from this end you can see an extendable awning there coming off of one of the arches as well and that opens out into the villa's kitchen and dining room so a perfect entertaining spot and then a wonderful terrace that kind of encases the 10 by 5 pool and I don't know about you but certainly for me I love kind of villas and gardens that offer lots of options so as well as this glorious kind of shaded fly screen enclosed dining area you've also got a beautiful open one alongside and I'm standing behind a with a barbecue to my back sorry so this is a, a great grinning area and from this side of the property this is where you enjoy the best views but without further ado let's take a wander onto the inside and show you that so starting at the front but now inside this stunning conservatory you can see you've got all slideable kind of windows fly screens in here and four arched access points and just what beautiful versatile spaces these are this has got a, a lovely bar you can see at the end there's a second wood burning fireplace here and just very very large spaces you know perfectly big enough as it is you've got a second lounge out here as well i've seen people add games rooms dining tables whatever you want and it's just lovely to have this kind of versatile space i suppose As you saw from the outside, you've got good quality air conditioning units fitted throughout. There's fly screens on all the windows. You've got additional ceiling fans in key rooms as well. So again, not much current owners could do really to upgrade spec. And I expect you can picture yourself having some fantastic entertaining evenings around here. And whilst I appreciate it's always kind of great to be able to walk to a couple of bars and everything, there's nothing quite like having your own bar at home either. And you don't have to worry about any taxis or staggering home. So the double doors there you see lead into the main sitting room. I'm not going to call it a sitting room, dining room because it isn't. It's literally just a sitting room. Ample dining space out here and on the other fly screen enclosed terrace that you saw that runs off of the kitchen. So coming dead centre to this then, these are the main front doors. Again it's a double set of sliding doors. And this brings you into this very good size square living room. I'll explain a bit about it in a second, but then you've got the second fireplace mounted in here. Right, and door access there you see off to the right brings you into the kitchen, diner, and the fourth bedroom. 
then arched access at the rear of the lounge there you see in front of you leads you through to two bathrooms and the villa's other three bedrooms. Just doing a quick pan around from this side for you so you can see where I've come in. And this is around 26, 28 meters and it's just the living room. So a very, very good sized room. And I don't know if you've seen, it's got the lovely decorative coving around as well. And then leads around into the kitchen, which will do last or close to last. So banning around, let's take a look through here. So first of all, the main family bathroom, as you can see, very generous build sizes in these villas. Absolutely super do for bathroom. Overhead shower as well. So this is the full bathroom. And then to the right of this, a huge double bedroom with bunk beds in. This is if grandchildren and stuff like that come over. This is the kind of bunk room, but you're looking at around probably 16 meters size wise, which is a guest bedroom is very, very generous. Now this builder didn't actually include fitted wardrobes in his spec. So these guys have gone for these very, very nice freestanding, but they look fitted, which provide ample kind of cupboard and storage space. As you can see, this bedroom amply big enough for a huge double bed, full set of bunk beds, and there's still plenty of room in here. Now coming out of here, door right in front of me takes you into a very useful, um, I, the Spanish would call it a dispenser, essentially a very large kind of pantry storage area. I'm not gonna film in there. Another bedroom then to the right, so that'll be bedroom number two. And then off to the left, what's essentially being used as the master bedroom, you know, and this is a, again, a very, very big room. That's a king size bed in here. And then a good sized ensuite, which we'll take a look at in a second. And another large bank of freestanding wardrobes. Now the owners are both dog and cat lovers. So they have both living in the house and one cat's particularly poorly at the moment. So they've set up one of the bedrooms as a recuperation room. I'm allowed to film in there, but just so to give you the heads up why they've got kind of cat equipment and everything else, you'll see in a sec. But before we go in there, let's have a look at this very good sized ensuite. So what you can't see to my right is a great big share area. So. To the left, you've got this wonderful vanity unit with built-in cupboards and the sink and everything. And then following it around and to my right, this huge shower. Back out to the third bedroom. And say, sorry, little, very timid and poorly moggy hidden away there in the corner you might see. I mean, this is luxury rec recuperation accommodation, eh? And again, a big bank of freestanding wardrobe. So as a, as a kind of third bedroom goes, this is a very generous size. I won't dwell too long in here. And let's go and have a look at the kitchen and fourth bedroom. So hopefully you're beginning to see your way around and back out into the living room and then closable door access leads into this very, very good sized kitchen diner. And those double doors you've seen from the other side go out into the fly screen enclosed porch. Before we pop out there, let's have a look here. There's even air conditioning and ceiling fans out here as well, guys, which you might not be able to see. So very, very good sized separate dining room. 
and then double arched access leads you into the spacious fitted kitchen. Now these are hardwood units, so I appreciate they might not be everybody's style of colour, but very easy now today's to get these. You don't have to replace all the units, they're in very good condition, so they can be resprayed to a colour of choice. And that's surprisingly inexpensive to do. And then a quick look from this end. And you can see there door access. As you come in from the living room immediately to your left, there's the fourth and double bedroom. And I kind of really do like this design because it almost becomes like a little, you know, self-contained wing because whoever's staying in that bedroom, they've got full access to the kitchen, full access out to the porch and the gardens without disturbing the owner's kind of faster kip on the other side or vice versa. And this is a very good sized bedroom as well. That's a standard double or a queen size, but easily room out here for a big king size if you wanted one. Seems to be all the rage at the moment. Can I get in my king size, my super king? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Quite easily. Lovely window here overlooking the garden and the pool area. So again, whether you want to or not, I don't know. But if you wanted to, then it could easily be have a double door added in there. and You can come out of here straight to the pool terrace. Great believer in kind of living in a property first, spending some time and then making the changes. See how you get on with what you got. And then finally, hello, <laughs> one of the two little doggy residents. Hey, you're going to not bark at me, are you? There we go. And this gorgeous five arches on this one, all fly screened in, so you get a lovely kind of breeze when there is one. And door access there out poolside. So this is the main kind of dining and entertaining area. Just overlooks the swimming pool and onto the beautiful views behind which you can see hopefully so there you have it the full walk around villa welcome los carrascos arbaleas full details will be in the link below shortly but viewings can be arranged immediately i think this is going to be a very popular property it, it really lends itself you know good size second home full-time residents Someone who wants kind of guest apartment or a separate guest casita. And the larger than average garden in the pool. This ticks a lot of boxes. Thanks for watching.